Long Island. This is 1027 WNEW. on the phone, Anthony. We'll talk to him in a minute or two. I see that. See how he's doing after his uh, hip surgery. Yeah. His hip was repaired. Yeah, the, um, the, the ball that's connected to your femur, your uh, thigh bone that fits in the socket in your hip, just snapped off. Oh, God. Oh, oh hello. Hello. All of a sudden, you must just get, like, really short on that side. As Ouch. the femur bone just has nothing to hang on to and goes up your leg as you Ouch. tip over and fall to the floor. Thank God he's not going to remember the pain. Yeah, I guess. Maybe I'll time to work that way, too. So he's on hold. Yeah. He can hang for a few minutes. Well, he has uh, nothing to do. The retired Laverne and Shirley getting ready for their 15-minute radio show as we try to get new radio shows on WNEW. We're helping. We're team players. Look at us. It's the second show we're auditioning for a slot here at NEW. How lazy are we? Uh, Nicole, what's going on? Hi, guys. Hi, Nicole. Hi. I love you guys. You guys, I've been listening to you for a couple years now. Thank you, Nicole. But you cannot put retarded Laverne and Shirley on the phone. Why? Why not? Oh, my God. Re- I can't listen. I can't stand to listen to them. They're hideous. They're getting organized, though. Maybe they won't talk at the same time for 15 straight minutes. Maybe they won't. Hopefully they won't talk at all. What other radio show has the balls to put, like, um, two retarded people on during, during prime time again? During prime time. Nobody but you guys. Nobody but you guys. On the hugely uh, rated Opie and Anthony show. All right, Nicole. Oh, Stay, Thanks, guys. Stay tuned for the retarded Laverne Shirley show. Love you guys. I think it's going to be a hit, Anthony. I think so. A lot of instant feedback coming in about uh, Lady Di and Mary and Pete from Queens. Those two broads are so ugly, it looks like they did a 100-yard dash in a 90-yard gym. Oh. Uh, Don from East Meadow. Guys, what have we, the listeners, done to deserve the mess of women you have brought on this show the last two weeks? You can't even put teen in front of these animals. <laughs> I'm getting... Wow. Lady Di is uh, pointing her finger at me as we read these on the air, Anthony. Uh, Paul from New York. The listeners, these two broads uh, sound like two old ladies getting ready to go to a bingo game. Adam from Manhattan. Di and Marion are like a woman's period. They come once a month and put us in a bad mood for all the days surrounding their visit. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. See, we don't need Dan from Hoboken. Uh, Kate from Jersey. Can you ask Marion to say she sells seashells by the seashore? Uh, you stop it, buddy Hinton. We'll do that. So what do you want to do? I mean, we got Reagan on hold. We got, uh, well, the retarded Laverne and Shirley radio shows at 530. We all know yeah. that. Uh, but your brother, yeah, we got a hold of his song, and it, I think we have to play this right now. Yeah, Joe, uh, Joe and Habil, I guess Cow Cowbell Bill, helping out also. Yeah, the song in his studio. The songs are starting to come in about uh, Stinky and and Black Earl's trip to Mississippi. To Mississippi, and this one, yeah, brother Joe. We played one earlier from Q, who's still in the studio. We're gonna play his song again before we get out of here. Yeah. But uh, let's go, let's roll right into your brother's song here. All right. It says it all about their little trip down to Winona, Mississippi. Why not? The boys are in Pennsylvania, by the way, if you're just checking in, okay? Mm-hmm. Well, I'll be an Anthony was sitting and thinking about Seminole Stinky on a radio mission. Go down south and check out W-O-N-A. The boys decided to have some fun, so they got ham bones and ride shotguns. Y'all might know him better as Black Earl. When they left New York, everything was fine. So they crossed that Mason Dixon line. That's when Black Earl's face turned snowy white. Three hits in a truck with guns and beer. Said, check out the nigger and the skinny little queer. I bet we could rail him like Ned Beatty in Deliverance. The good old boys, they put on their sheets. And Earl's eyes popped out like butter. Looking meaner, Earl was making faces like Mariner from that haunted house. 
just about them three tires pop. They blew a rod and the car done stopped. They took out the KY and started moving up. Well, the truck was on them like flies on crap. Earl tried pulling out some gangster rap. Bubba said, my granny sounds blacker than you. Well, they held Earl down and took off his pants. And that's when they noticed that cranky ass. Bubba jumped up and puked on stinky shoes. Well, Stinky said, boys, now I've had enough. He rolled up a joint and he took a puff. Passed it on to Bubba and said, how about you? Well, Bubba took a toke off of Stinky's blood. Where'd you learn to roll like that, you skinny runt? You twist him up just like my cousin Clam. Stinky said, Clem's my cousin too, and if you know what's good for you, you'll leave my leather cheerio alone. Well, I'm your wife's sister's husband's brother's cousin-in-law, and you're her husband's brother's sister's mother's cousin-in-law, so I guess I can call you dad. Well, Bubba said, boys, better give it a rest, if I bang that boy, it'd be incest, and old Stimey's still got a stinking ass. Mississippi via aeroplane. Wow, that's a good one, Joe. That's, God damn. That's yeah. a nice little ditty from Anthony's brother Joe and Cowbell Bill. A lot of uh a lot of instant feedbacks coming and they're loving it. Yeah, that's a good Props one. to Joe, funny as hell. This song rocks. Ants Bros songs are great. Wow, look at that. But Yeehaw, Wrangler and Diamond Dust. I'm going to go rent me some horses and plow me a Dreamweaver. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good song. We're going to have to get that on a few times this week. That's huh? a good old good one. Uh, Joey. Hey, Joey. Hello. Hello. Hey, uh, hello. Jo we have you on the air, Joey. Who are you? Who are you? This is Jerry. Uh, all right, Jerry. Jerry. Jerry, Scott's brother who's driving your truck. Down in Mississippi. What's Down up? Down to Winona. What's up, Jerry? How's it going, guys? We're having fun. You guys are the best, man. Your show is great. I love you guys. Heard nothing but good things. Thank you. What are you guys doing out in Winona? Uh, we're just going to fool around a little bit. You're going to go rouse the rednecks? I don't know what they got <laughs> planned for the gang when they get there. Yeah, how long are they going for? Just a couple days. Yeah, a couple days, good. They should be back in New York Thursday afternoon. All right. I just want to give a shout out to my brother and all your crew who's going down there from Jay over at the Grand Saloon in Clifton. All right. You guys are the best. We listen to your show all day in the restaurant and in the kitchen. It keeps my staff going. Hey, thank you, Jerry. You guys are the best. We appreciate it. God bless and tell my brother have a safe trip. Uh, we will next time we talk to him. Thanks, guys. All right. Scott, of, Scott of course, is driving the Suburban. That's his brother, Jerry, checking yeah. in here today. Yeah. <laughs> wow, a lot of people say that's the funniest song um, Joe has done. That's a great one, man. Hey, Ray, what's up? Hey, what's going on, fellas? All right. Uh, and your brother's got some talent, man. That's, that was yes, a, he that does. Was a, that was a killer tune. That's a good one, a didn't it? tune. Didn't it, like, give you a whole story? Like, you were picturing it in your yeah, head yeah, it and was stuff. Great. That it was great. That was, that was a great job. the best I've heard since I've been listening to you guys. Very good, man. Right, yeah. That a good one. Thank you, Ray. Later. Uh, Rodney, Rodney brings up a good point here. Rodney? Rodney! Hey, yo, dude. Dude. Hello? Whatever your name is. He wants to know when it's going to be on Napster. Rodney, the guy's like, no, my name's like Jim. <laughs> Someone will put that up on Napster. Oh, that'll end up on Napster. What, are you kidding? Put it under Opie and Anthony, but make sure, you know, Joe gets the credit when you, yeah. you know, put the title of the song and stuff. You but pop that, it on. But that's the easiest way to find uh, some of this stuff from our show. Yeah. That's a pop, good one. Pop uh, Opie and Anthony in, and then uh, hopefully that'll be up there soon, okay? <laughs> Well, Anthony, uh, I, we want to talk to Reagan, but uh, I think we have to step aside for the retarded Laverne and Shirley show. The retarded Laverne and Shirley. We told them we'd give them airtime at 5.30. Look what time it is. I know. We've got to take a break and come back with their radio show. Then we'll get, uh, we'll get to the Reagan thing. Yes. We'll get to uh, a great Mike Tyson story from uh, over the weekend. Mike in the news again. And we've got to get Q's um, song about Earl and Stinky on the radio again as well. So we've got a lot mm. to do today. Yeah. All right, we'll be back with the retarded Laverne and Shirley show. If you touch that dial, you're insane. So you went pumpkin picking for Sandy. You drove all the way back with your booty of pumpkin. <laughs> well, that sounds fun, though. That's a fun day. No!
Have you checked out the W? Go ahead, put that on the air, man. I don't care. Opie and Anthony. 1027 We got to get the phones lit up for the retur- retarded Laverne and Shirley show. The retarded Laverne and Shirley coming in doing 15 minutes on prime time radio here. That's right. In our never ending quest for uh, new shows for new WNEW. Shows. I have no idea what they're doing tonight, by the way, because you and I have decided to go back to normal programming mm-hmm. as far as the ONA show goes. Yeah, we were team players for a week. And now uh, WNEW is going to have to come up with their own shows. That's why we like to have these tryouts. Because you never know, something might hit. Something might pop, right? We're a little different um, off the air than we are on the air, Opie, right? Uh, yeah, I think so. So maybe the retarded Laverne and Shirley are uh, different on the air. <laughs> We've had them on the air. <laughs> I mean, if it's their own show now. They could come on and be great. Oh, wow. They, <laughs> yeah. they, 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 they've been and show I could turn this lead to gold. I know. They've been show <laughs> an <laughs> alchemist. <laughs> On instant feedback, uh, Anthony from West Orange. Yeah. Uh, I learned that uh, the retarded Laverne and Shirley do more show prep in one day than you guys have done in two and a half years. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, you're going to ruin it for us. You got that right. Um, Q in the studio, Anthony. Yes. He has a little intro for the uh, Retard Laverne and Shirley show. Oh, really? Very small. Do you need the music to go along with it? No, you think? It's, just, it's just that, that thing, that thing, the tag at the, at the, the beginning. Top. Yeah. All right, go ahead. Right, here we go. A one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They're fat. They're ugly. They're nauseating, and they won't shut up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. All right, let's get him into the oh. studio. Oh. Oh. Sing along to the song again. Like Arnold Warshak from Welcome Back Carter. That, ooh, ooh, yeah, ooh. when you do that, ooh, 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 ooh. Like, it does. Hey, they got a point. It does. Ooh, ooh. I used to watch that show. All right, listen, listen. Getting dizzy already over here. Okay, listen. We're going to, Anthony and I, in just a couple minutes here, are going to shut up for the next 15 minutes. We're not going to okay. say a word. It's your radio show. You can do whatever the hell you want, okay? Hope All you right. can join me in a tall glass of hepatitis. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Lady Di, because you're closer to the phone screen, can you see? All right, here. Yes, I can. Let me okay. This All right. Now. I'm gonna enge- I'm gonna engineer your radio show. Okay. So, Lady okay. Di, if you need to talk to, let's say, uh, TJ on line eight, you go. Can I, you know, TJ on line eight, and I'll plunk him down for you. Okay. All right. Very All right. Good. So I will just sit back. You got the view, right? 
of the screen? Yes, I do. Now, let me uh, forewarn you about something. Okay. Sometimes the calls are not flattering mm -hmm. or fun. Right. But you That's must right. be a professional and rise above it and keep the show rolling. We have, to deal, with, rolling. Okay. We have to deal with that on a daily basis. That's right. right. Okay. So don't get upset. Just keep I'm going and move upset. on. Maybe if you take like five or six phone calls in a row, uh, in a row where they're just killing you, you might want to lay off the phones for a, a little bit and, and maybe, maybe hit a topic. Hit a topic. Talk and about then, the Giants right. or something. All right. And, and then, then the phones start rolling on your topic and you're in. Right. And okay. Then, then when you're feeling good about yourself again, like Ann said, sure, go right back yeah. to the phones. Very so. good. Okay. All right. We'll do that. Uh, the retard of the Vernon Shirley uh, show can be seen on the Stinky Cam. <laughs> yeah. Go to WNEW.com. Uh, click on the Stinky Cam. You, want, you might want to move the Stinky Cam just a little bit because we... We only get we only get to see half of the lovely lady die. There we point. go. There we <laughs> go. All right. It's, it's All right. When set. are we on? Perfect. Set? Okay. Good. When are we on? Uh, you guys want some music? You know how Aunt and I come out of the commercials with some rockin' rockin music? Rockin' music. Get your, sure. Get your no problem. Do your little intro. Bon Jovi. Remember the uh, bon Jovi. remember the call letters. Mm -hmm. You got to do that every so often that they're not listening. Remember the call <laughs> letters. Okay. You got to do that and give out the phone number. You right, see, right. You got the phone number written down? I have the phone number. Don't it's worry about it. right there on okay. the call. Right. Let them know who you are. Okay. And the call letters and do your show. And, okay. uh, and, uh, what was I going to say? Let us know when we're ready. I just lost my thought here. I just lost my mind here. Uh, do you have a name for the show or are we just going with the retarded Laverne and Shirley? Go with the retarded Laverne, Laverne and Shirley. Shirley. Oh, That's okay. good enough. There All you right. go. All right, I'm going to set the clock. You guys have 15 minutes. Okay. Here's right. your music, ladies and gentlemen. It's the retarded Laverne and Shirley show. <laughs> The number is 212-757-1027 and 877-692-1027. Those are the lines. The lines are open. Call us and give us your thoughts. All right, Di uh, all right Lady Die. Yes. Uh, what do you want to talk about? Let's I'm see. Last talk about night, the Rangers that won last night. Last night's Ranger game. We right. were there. It had a, played a good game. Right. They won 4-2. to two. It was Adam Gray's 300 career goal. Yeah. Brian Lee scored two goals. Right. Um, so it's pretty good. They're finally winning again. That's good. So let's say let's go Rangers. Hopefully they Hopefully. could make the playoffs, do whatever. You right. know. Right. The next game is Thursday night. We'll see what happens Thursday night. Are you going Thursday night, Mary? Uh, no. No, I don't have Thursday night's game. Oh, okay. I don't go again until next week. It's the next time you go? Uh, in about two weeks. Okay. And um, what else is in the news? Let's see. The Giants won yesterday. They're going to the Super Bowl. Right. First time in 10 years? In 10 years. Yep. Right. And what do you think about that? I think that's great. The uh, New York I'm a, is in there. Yeah, I'm a Jet fan and a Dallas fan, but what are you going to do? I think it's pretty good. <laughs> I don't think it's that bad. Okay. But the Ravens are, are, are the ones. Are the favorites. Are the favorites. I think the Giants are going to pull out. They're going to they're gonna go all the way. Yeah. We'll, we'll see what happens. Wins. Okay. What else is in the news? Okay. Okay. Derek mm -hmm. Jeter was at the, the, China, the Club. China Club over the weekend. And Chuck Knobloch and Peter Nedved. Were they were there all too. there hanging out at somebody's birthday party. Right. Okay. Let's see. Other, other news is over the weekend, Ronald Reagan had hip surgery. Hope him. He wishes well. Get better. Uh, pretty soon, I guess in another month, month and a half, it's spring training. Right. What do you say? For the baseball team. Let's say, let's go Mets, let's no, go Yankees. No, no, let's go Yankees. Let's go Mets, see no, what happens. No, no the Yankees are going to do it again. Uh, They're going to well, be all right. They can't keep doing it year after year after year after year. Sure they can. When? Why? <laughs> Come on, they keep doing it year after year after year after year. Right. The tickets go up, this goes up, everybody wants raises. Yes, we know. You know, I mean, hey, it's got to be a point, you know, like... Enough is enough. That is true. There's yeah. no salary cap in baseball. No. No salary cap in half of the sports mm -hmm. these days. <laughs> okay. Let's see. What else? My today, brain is seizing up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Today's Martin Luther King's birthday. It's a national holiday. Better off big holiday. Yep. Every, every place is closed. Just about. The Jersey Transit. Mass Transit running on a weekend schedule. So yeah. everybody's having parades and whatnot. Right, you right. Know, he, if he was alive, I guess he'd be 72 years old. Mm -hmm. But what are you going to do? That's true. He had a legacy and a dream. Phone calls. Phone calls. I can't see very well. Can you see them? No. <laughs> I can't see them very well. I can't okay. see them either. All right. Uh, go to line three. Go line three. <laughs> line three. Line three. Hello. 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 Yeah, yes. you're, on, you're on Laverne and Shirley's show. Yeah, I want to know if that, talk, What can we do for you? I want to know if that thong you're wearing is from the Gloria Peterbilt line. 
That's for what, you, what Diane. That? What was that? <laughs> That's for you. What was? What did he say again? The thong you're wearing. Was from what line? Ah. Uh, excuse me, sir. What line? <laughs> Victoria's Secret. Oh my God! You guys are fabulous. Thank, thank you. you we like. Much. Thank you. We think you're psycho market. By the way, I just thought I'd call in. I want to ask you some I questions. I don't know what psycho is. Them answered. We okay. don't know. You. I don't know yet. But go ahead. Get, All right. Get, well, get, uh, get. You, you you had that operation, right? Yeah. Now, did they use a chop saw to remove that cyst from your uterus, or was it a no? It was not. It was it was two cysts on my ovaries, and they did not. And I'm I am doing pretty good. Okay. So hey. You know? Too bad they didn't operate on your brain and remove that. Oh, Why? Not, if they not. did operate on my brain and remove that, so what? Oh. I mean, hey, what are you going to do? At least, I, hey, I still got my brain. Okay, I'm, are you, I'm, are I'm, you I'm far from the window? Is there any chance you can throw yourself out the window no. right now or climb on the air? No. Can you throw Me? yourself out the window? I'm going <laughs> to. If you don't get off the air, I'm going to lose my mind. I'm going to snap the Well, hey. Me. Hey, we're all going to snap eventually right, one okay, of these days. Oh, just die. Die a slow. I think you're pretty cool. I, I was having fun with that guy. <laughs> yes. How Hello. you doing? Okay, how you doing? Listen, Who's this? Uh, this is Anthony. I got a question for you. Uh, okay, can, you tell, can you tell your mom to stop changing her lipstick because she's giving me a rainbow? My mom? Yeah, she's giving me a rainbow on my junk. Tell her to stop changing her lip. Oh, come lipstick. on. No jokes about my mom. That's not nice. Hey, why do you talk with a lisp? Who, me? I don't no, know, Miriam or whoever the hell the... I'm the, the one that talks with a list because my teeth are crooked, okay? You, the only reason you're here do is... You, is do you talk with a list? Hey, listen, the only reason you're here is because the coat hanger missed you, you skank. Hey, you're That's a skank, too. Nice. Go to hell. You're you, too. I was there. Hi. Your mother wasn't home. <laughs> <You're not laughs> I, I don't care. <laughs> you're good, man. I don't you're know really who I am. Good. Hey, I don't care. No. I don't care. Okay. They don't know who I am, so what? All right, go to line four. Okay, line line four. Hello? Hello? You're on you're on Laverne and Shirley's show. Hello? What can we tell you? What can we do for you? Uh is it, wait, am I on our miss? Yeah, you are. Yeah. You're on. Oh you're my on. god. You, what? I think they both should give you a... Uh, uh, give you a time, give you like an hour show and everything. We, we sound pretty good, don't we? Yeah, you've got as interesting as diarrhea, like you know, and on you, a nice hot night. You want to night. Well, you have a, you have diarrhea for two. You know, I guess, see, huh? you're, you're about as interesting as diarrhea because no, you want sound to like hour. crap. No, I mean, well, your teeth hey. are crooked because who? I mean, your husband must punch you in the mouth every right, night because you're just so annoying. Does your wife punch you in the mouth? You should have kept them on. I was having a good time with these people. <laughs> okay, uh, go I'll to line six. I don't care. I know what to say. We're not go to say. line six. Hello. 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 This, this is TJ, OJ's brother. I would like to come down there and slit both of your throats. Why? Cut it off. Because you suck. Cut it off. No, we don't. We you sound pretty suck. good. You suck worse than the cold is. If you, oh, if you oh, think, man. look, if you think you could do something better, come down to the show. Give it a try. I'll do that. Okay. Why not? You do that. You I want to hear, I wanna hear how you sound. Uh, line five. Line five. Hello. Hello. You're on the air with Laverne and Shirley. Anybody there? Hello. Hello. Yes. yes. What can yeah, we do? Doing? My, this is the retarded Laverne and Shirley show? Yes, yes, it is. Yeah, my wife had the same thing. She had a couple of cysts removed from her ovaries. Yeah. And then, like, about a month later, you know, when it was that time of the month, she just bled to death. Well, fine. Well, I, I'm fine. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm, I'm terrific. Also, Why? I'd like to give a shout-out to all the... It must be prejudice. I don't know. That's not right. I don't care. I gave it uh, right back. I'm tough. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, David Wells was traded. He was traded to the uh, White White Sox. Was he traded yeah. to the White Sox? Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. the Mets wanted him, but I guess well, I don't know what's going on with that. The Mets right, want, right. want these players, and all of a sudden and they, David they take their them. time coming to try and get players, try and trade players. I don't I know, know what they're doing. I know. And uh, David don't they, don't they realize in three weeks tickets go on sale? I guess they do. But what are you going to do? All right, uh, go to line seven. All right, we're here to take your call. Anybody else want to call the show? Line seven, hello. Line seven, hello. Anybody there? Hello. Nobody there. Nobody there? Okay. Oh, well. Decided, I guess decided not to go to get, get through. Forget it. Hello. Right? hello. Yeah, do you hear me? Bob. 
How you doing? Yeah, hello, you hear me? Hey, Mary Ann. Yeah, how you doing, hey, Bob? Hey, how you doing? I think oh, you I'm doing it. fine. How you I doing? We're both doing pretty fine. Good. You know, I work at a psychiatric center. We're looking for some uh, radio chicks over there. You want to come down and be a radio chick down there? Or well, psychiatric center? Yeah. yeah. Psychiatric sure, people, why, you know. why not? We, we could do radio shows in a psychiatric I, you know, center. I don't, sure. I don't think he even goes for that. I think you guys oh, die. come you know on. What? I mean? what? Just go. Let me tell you, Mary. I think what? a lady dies, she would do maybe a good job. You talk, you can't stop talking for a second. All right, just check your mouth. Not nice. Hey, like look. Friend. Hey, look. If I can't stop talking for a second, that's to keep the show going and to keep something to talk no, about. No, no, no. And we, I talk to. And Diane you're talks to. Sense. You, everything's nonsense while you, while you're talking. Nothing. Everything is okay. nonsense. Okay. I, I, I believe me. I, I don't talk you nonsense. Die. I can hire you for the psychiatric center, but I mean, Mary and I can't. Like, could you guys split up? No, Fine. we never split up. No, oh, yeah. we're best I'm, friends. You know, I'll make, I'll make we'll a deal with you. We'll look very shortly. You're going to take Stucker Patty with you. Hey, look, if you, if you if you work in a psychiatric ward, the, na the name is, uh, you must be nuts. So, uh, you know, I hate to tell you this. I hate to tell you this. You're a little nuts. All right, line nine, Sylvester the Cat. Hello, this is Sylvester. Uh, Marion, um, I would like my list back, please. <laughs> What? Can I have my list back, please? Oh, get out of here. Hang on. Well, you can take your list back. Yeah. Take Thank it you. and shove it up your butt. How <laughs> do with you? Hello. Okay. Uh, Fred. Uh, yeah. How you doing, Fred? I work hard all day. Okay. I try to support a wife and kids. Right. Yeah, well. I come we home. I, I, I try to get some entertainment on the way home. Okay. What are you two doing on the radio? Oh, well, What are you fun. even doing we're there? Fun. We're having a good you, time. How long have you been friends? For, since for, we were like 15 years time. old. You Why? can't even hold a conversation between each other. You sound like absolute idiots. No, we don't. No, we we don't. We're a lot you of do? fun. Friends for 15 years and you, and you move along from... Segment, the segment, it, it, it's the hardest thing to listen to. I, you got to get off the radio. We're here to have no. fun. That's all. You got to go, please. Well, yeah, well, we all got to go sometime. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, the horoscopes. Read the horoscopes, right. Diane. Okay. All right, for Capricorn, if someone... Here's today's horoscopes. Yeah. If Diane's going to read the horoscopes. Do you want to read them? <laughs> go, no, ahead. go ahead, you read no, them, No, 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 you read them. No. Nah. Okay. <laughs> okay. If someone you work with seems to know all the answers, it might pay to be a bit suspicious. Maybe he is really on the ball, or maybe he is building himself up to hide his deficiencies. You can't be too careful. Okay, you read Aquarius. That's mine. Yeah, my birthday's coming up. All right? Yeah. So you get to read Aquarius. that Aquarius. The sun enters your birth sign toward the end of this week. So far, the next few days, wind down and look back over the last 12 months. And when making plans for the next 12 months, listen to your instincts first and other people's second. Okay? You can read Pisces. All right. I'll read the Pisces. All right. Yes. Oh, Mario. Mario, you're on the line. Yeah. How you doing? Okay. Hi. How you doing? Yeah. Uh, how much would it cost to F you two scrags in a dumper? How much would it cost to F you in a dumper, buddy? I don't know. How much you got? <laughs> None of your business. I don't think you'd be worth a penny. Oh, come on. I'm worth uh, more I, than I'm that. I'm serious. I don't think you'd be worth a penny because I don't like your attitude. You uh, got I don't a bad like attitude. Oh, what are you going to do? Hang up on him. Really, you got a bad attitude. I don't like people with bad attitudes. Serious Sorry. calls, please. Serious callers. Okay, Glenn, you're on the line. Oh, uh, yeah. Good evening, ladies. Love your show so far. I got one serious question for you, though. Sure. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, spit or swallow? Neither. Do you spit or swallow? Well, you know, it depends on what my wife's giving me, though, you know? Well, yeah, but I mean, the thing is, though, be a little bit nicer, because I feel sorry for your wife, because you must be a real oh, nag. Oh, my God. Oh, uh, she loves it. Yeah, okay. well. Joby, you're on the line. All right, Steve, you're on the line. Steve. Guys. Hi. I'd rather Hi. hear Stoker Patty talk about her nipple hair. Hang up the phone, you skank, and bring back the Hang radio up the chick. Phone. We're here in the studio. We're here in the studio. We're phone. having a good time. We're having a lot of fun. You hang up the phone. Yeah, F you, F you. Yeah, F you too. F you. Yeah, you too. Come to the studio. I'll give you F you. Put my foot up your butt. <laughs> No, Jason. Jason. All right, Jason, Jason, you're on the line. Yeah, hi, ladies. Um, hi. Uh, I would like a snarling. I wonder if you could suck my bone dry. Suck my bone dry. Grow one. <laughs> you probably don't have one. 
<laughs> okay, hang on. Okay. Yo. Yo. Right, Joe, be Yo, do you know the worst part about having sex with a six-year-old girl? What I'm not six years old. I'm 30. Getting blood years. on your clown suit. Yeah, well, Terrible. you look like a clown. Terrible. I wouldn't talk. Go okay. ahead. All right, get back, get back to the horoscopes. Okay, we were at Pisces. There are many things you want to change, but you never seem to get around to doing much about them. Perhaps you should take that as a sign you are being too ambitious, and a few days from now, you won't want to change a thing, so don't force yourself to make any changes today. Now, you want to read Aries? Okay, we'll read Aries. Diane, there's another phone call. O'Reilly, you're on the phone. Hello, Laverne and Shirley. Yeah, yeah Hi. Hello, this is Monsignor O'Reilly from the Belton Church. How you doing? Hi. How, how are you? I just come from Mass and I've been praying that both of you get killed in a car accident tonight. That's not That's nice. <laughs> you know, you're it. I've been praying that you both get killed. Hang up the phone. Hang up the phone. Thank you, Jack. Pigs that you ever think about becoming nuns. Hang up nuns. the phone, you jerk. There's only one job Goodbye. for you to become nuns and kill Goodbye. yourself. Goodbye. Bye. Who are these people? I don't bother me because I'm giving it right back. There you go. If, if somebody's going to call, give it back, if though. somebody's going to call and get a bad attitude, I'm giving it right back. So remember one thing right now. Don't let me answer because I believe me. You want? You don't want to know me. Okay, buddy, you're on the line. Hi, yes. This is yes. Buddy Hinton. Hi. How you doing? Good. I just want to let you guys know that uh, I took out that little bitch, Cindy Brady, and I'm going to take you out now, you oh. stuttering bitch. Hey, look, you don't know What's me. Take you, out? What's take take you, you out? out? Take me out where? On a date? I'm married. Yeah, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't take you on a date. I one. wouldn't go at you anyway because you don't sound like you, you'd be uh, into interesting. Uh, so, you don't bye. In anyway, you whore. Yeah, oh, you're, you're, you're your sister. No, oh. oh, actually, I'm with your mother. Yeah, well, that. Oh, cut that. That's cut Sorry. That. That's not good. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All okay, right, Linda. Linda, Linda, you're on the line. Linda, hello? Hello? I guess she's not on the line. Linda. Linda, Linda you're on the line. Hey, how you doing? Hi. Okay, how you doing? Good. You girls need to elaborate on your story. Don't take this crap from all these guys. Oh, well, that's all right. I'm giving it back to them anyway. She is. She is. Well, well, talk, ab talk about when you guys grew up. Talk about it when you, if you did drugs and what kind of drugs you did. Your sex life. Don't be Anthony don't want to hear about your sex life. But, hey, go for it. <laughs> That's I don't Linda. know. Would you want to hear about it? And what we do, you guys? Right? You know, it, it doesn't bother me because I'm giving it right back. And believe yeah, it me, I, it, it, it doesn't all. because they don't know me. And believe me, if they were in front of me, I think I'd beat the hell out of them. Mm -hmm. I'm tough. Very oh, tough. Thank you, Linda. Thank you. Bye. All right. Bye. I am. I'm sorry, okay. but I am. I. I. It's me. Uh, line five. Hello. Yes. Hello. How are you doing? What was that? What was that again? Hello. Yes, hello. Yes, how are you doing? The who? Goodbye. Bye. What the hell is going on? I'm going to give you a milk mustache. Yeah, no, thank you. Is that who? Who is this? What's that, Tice? Who is this? Tice. Is that, who is that? It sounded like him a little. It sounded like Andrew Dice Clay. Was it? No, it was, I don't think it was him. Talk okay, drugs. talk about drugs. What okay. do you want to talk about? All right, what do you want to talk about? All right, Diane, they want us to talk about drugs. Let's well, see. What would they like for us to talk All right. about? The stuff that we used to do in the uh, past? Or? Uh, should we or shouldn't we? I don't know. That's um, a good question. Yeah, I know. What do you think? Uh, I don't know. I, I don't I know I mean, we're, we're older now, and uh, it's when we were younger, and everybody makes mistakes yeah, when they're younger. Yeah, we used to do those things when we were younger. We did, but hey. We did. You know, yes, we did. But if any yes, anybody who was 18 and over or 19 or whatever listened, it's no good to do them. Right. It's but not. take it from somebody that knows, somebody that's experienced. When we were 18 and younger, we did a lot of things, and we're 37 and 38 right now. And we don't and do those things We don't do anymore. those things no more. Well, marijuana. Yeah. Okay, we did that for, for a little while. We, we tried a little <laughs> Coke for a while. Right, and, we you sure know, did. And we drank. Okay. And, hey, but when you're younger, you're a teenager, you don't know what you're doing. Right, exactly. You figure, hey, everybody else does one I used to smoke cigarettes, and I don't smoke cigarettes no more right, either. Right, That stuff yeah, is not good I for you. Maybe I should start it up again, but don't. I'm not. <laughs> you feel like it right yeah, now, right? Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. Okay, what else? <laughs> I would have smoked a cigarette. Yeah. What about sex? Uh, what about? Oh, geez. Yeah. What about sex? I wouldn't what know about anything it? about that right now. I know. You don't want. You know, I could tell you a lot, but uh, better not. Okay. 
It better not. <laughs> well, uh, don't do it unless you're married. That's all I got to say. <laughs> okay? If, if you're not well, married, don't do don't it. Unless do you're it. in love with your partner. Yeah, yeah, and that too. You know? That's got a lot to do with it. With everything going on these days, you know. Uh, well, why? Because um, it's special if you do it with the one you love. You got love, age. It's special. You got all these sexually transmitted diseases out there. That's right. So uh, it's better off if you just. You wait. have to be careful. You have to be careful and, you know, use protection. That's all. That's what it is. And wait. Until you know, until you know you're with the right one. Wait for what? Wait until you know you're with the right one. <laughs> that's, that's why, you know. I don't want to wait. <laughs> oh. Sometimes you have to. Okay, uh, line line four. Line four. Is somebody else calling? Dang it, Emily never called. Bill, Bill, you're on the line. Bill. Hi, how you doing, lady? Hi, how, how are doing? you? Good, I have a, a quick mathematical question for you. Sure. Uh, which sure. is Which is greater, the sum of your two brains or a molecule? <laughs> The sum of our two brains the is greater. Of our two brains is greater. I, I don't know about your brain, though. But, but let me tell you, we're, okay. we're, we're, we're very cool, and we're having a lot of fun up here. Okay. That's right. Yeah, they, should, they should pack this show through, and on, uh, like, that's row. They'd save a lot of money on you know, it. Uh, no, I think it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a matter of having fun. Josephine, okay. you're on the line. That's all. If people don't know how to have fun, then they want to... Hello. Hello. Hi, Josephine. How you doing? Okay. Listen, how you doing? Um, I'm okay. You guys are like, you know... I'm glad you guys are making an effort and everything, but I, I drive like an hour, an hour and a half to get home from work every day and I look forward to O&A, and you guys really need to give the show back to them. Well, they, um, they, they asked us. us they minutes. asked us if we want to try it for 15 minutes. We figured we're I having know, fun. Really, I mean, I'm, it's nice that you guys are trying and everything, but really, I... I you gotta give we're, ha we're, ha that. we're having fun here. We're having fun with the guys. They're nice guys. They're cool guys. And it was their idea, and I said, why not? It's, it's a lot of fun. Well, anyway, no, it's I not, know. And it's no harm, no harm in dying. No it's harm. Well, good luck. well, good luck anyway. <laughs> Thank you very much. I mean, it, it's nice of them to offer. Jim, Jim on the line. Hi. Jim? Jim, hello? Hi. How you doing, ladies? Hi. How are you doing? Yeah, that was a great anti-drug commercial. I just whipped my whole stash out the window. <laughs> good. If I'm going to turn out you. like you. <laughs> good. You can pick it up on the Meadowbrook. It's like an Thank ounce of coke and uh, a pound of weed. All right. Well, where, where did you drop it? Where? <laughs> you know. We could go look for it. Yeah, we're going to go look for it. We're going to throw it in the sewer. Oh, God. I, I don't want to turn out that. like that. Well, well love you, girls. Yeah, we Thank like you. you, too. Like you, too. I really do love you, though. All right. Yeah, that's good. I know. You don't know us. That's good. Uh, yeah. Marion. Yeah, hi. You, you slept together. What? No, we didn't. <laughs> no, you we... You were telling me I was Italian. <laughs> No, we didn't. You said you're a stallion. All right, yeah. Bye. Bye. Don't want to hear you. You guys suck. Bye. Well, so do you. Thanks. you. I don't want to say what you, what you suck, but... Uh, okay, Mickey, you're on the line. Oh, no. Hello? Mickey? Hello? This is Mikey. Oh, Mikey. Yes, oh, hello, Mikey. hello. Um, Hi. Yes, I'm 15 years old. Okay. And I really, really think you guys are great or doing a very good show. Well, thank you for trying. And then you, when you start talking about the dope, the cocaine, and the marijuana, uh. well, it makes me want to do it because you two are like my role models. Oh, oh God. No, 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 don't, don't do that Don't stuff. ever start that stuff. Don't sure. do that stuff. start that stuff. Well, no, because, see... Oh, my daddy's abusive, too. That's terrible. Yeah, That's terrible. He, last night he donkey punched me. Like is your time. daddy Andrew Dice Clay? Who? Is your daddy Andrew Dice Clay? Andrew Dice Clay, yeah. no. No, no. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, God. I'm All right, well, I hope everything well, works out. Well, hold wrap on. Up. Hold on. Uh, okay, uh, we have to wrap up the show. Okay, okay. well, um... Yes, yeah, XFL? Okay. Oh, that's the new uh, thing that's coming out. I don't know much about it. All right, well, we have to wrap up the show, but before we do, we have to talk about the XFL. Yeah, XFL. Get ready for hard-hitting smash mouth football like you've never seen before. Okay, and the XFL and the New York City, New Jersey hitmen are here, and the tickets are on sale now for all five home games. On your birthday, Marion. Oh, yeah, February 11th. Isn't that nice? Read That's that. the first home game. On February 11th, Hitman's first ever home game will be at Giant Stadium against the Brigham Hand Thunderbolts. Okay, and tickets for for this and all five Hitman home games are now on sales 
on sales at all Ticketmaster outlets by calling Ticketmaster at 212-307-7171 or at Ticketmaster.com. This is the football uh, that uh, WWF is promoting. So I hear it's supposed to be pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God. You, you got... Hello? Okay, yes, hello? Hello, oh, yes. Is this Lady Di? Yes, it is. Oh, Lady Di. Let me tell you, I'm having a wonderful time listening to your show. Well, thank and you very ever much. ever since you talked about it, I wanted to ask you a question. What is that? Go ahead. Have you ever gotten into a shovel fight without a shovel? You mongoloid looking... No, goodbye. Yeah. Bye. You thank look you. like a mongoloid. Bye. <laughs> Okay. That's horrible. That's horrible. I don't care. That doesn't... They don't know where. Okay. 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 It says you got to see the Hitman as they ice the Thunderbolts, the Orlando Rage, the L.A. Extreme, the Memphis Maniacs, and the Chicago Enforcers all at Giant Stadium. Okay, Uncle John, you on the phone? Hey, ladies. How you doing? All right. How you doing? I'd just like to tell you, I'm really enjoying your show. Thank, Thank you. you very much. But then again, I also like to like drive an ice pick into my ears, so... <laughs> well, good. Know, it helps. You can drive an ice pick somewhere else, too. You guys, you guys on cocaine. You. That, that, must have been, that must have been hysterical. Why? The what? I don't know. What's hysterical? Like, What's hysterical? Like, you? You, must sound like, you must have sounded like Heckle and Jekyll. Well, yeah, sort of. Yeah, but let me helpful. tell you, what we're doing is for fun. I mean, well, it's good. fun. Right. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying yourself. We well, are. Thank you very much. The suicide rate in New Jersey just went up 12%. Bye, well, goodbye. Bye. Bye. That's their problem. Okay, now don't miss out. Be a part of history on February 11th for the kickoff of the XFL football. Great seats are available for $25. <gasps> Call Ticketmaster now. Season tickets are also on sale at XFL.com, XFL, and New York Ranger Hitman. Yeah, I'm going to check New York New Jersey out. Hitman. <laughs> okay, original games, new attitude, get your tickets now. Okay. Is that it? Is that it? Okay, now, what do we... We'll be back in a minute. We'll be back in a minute. You have been listening to the Laverne and Shirley show. <laughs> okay, Rob, you're on the line. Hi, how you doing? All right, Hi. how you doing? My name is Rob. I'm from uh, the Connecticut Schools of Broadcasting. Yes. I'd like to offer a full scholarship. Okay. A merit scholarship uh, to both both you and, uh, oh, well, Laverne and Shirley. And, uh, All right. I just think you guys are... What's the effort? Okay, Definitely. well, uh, thanks Thank a lot. You. Thank we you were trying. We're having a lot of fun here. we got to wrap up the show, though. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. All right, All right. Thank, Thank you. you. No problem. We, have to, we have to wrap up the show We have to wrap up. Thank you. Bye. Okay, now we got to wrap up the show now. We'll give it back to Opie and Anthony. Thank you for listening to 102.7 yeah. WNEW and keep the Retarded and Shirley. Yeah, keep listening to the show, the good guys, and it was nice of them for us to ask if we want to do this for a little while. Right. Really. The very good, nice the cool, good, the good, Very good guys. And also the producer, everybody that works in the studio is very good. Okay. So keep listening to the show, guys, and please. Keep on calling the show. We'll give it back to O&A. We'll be back after the break. Bye. Are we still on? Yeah. But what do we do? What do we do now? <laughs> what do we do? All right. We gave it back to you guys. We gave it Go back ahead. to you guys. Go ahead. Go ahead. We gave it back to you guys. Go ahead. <laughs> what is this, a silent game now? Come on. Well, we didn't stop. We got bad. <laughs> Emily never called in, Diane. Emily never. Okay. Emily never called in. All right. Emily. Yes. Yes. We are oh, we, we, we are wrapping it up. We do wrap up. Okay, we're gonna give the show back to O and A right now. Here they are, Opie and Anthony. Thank you for letting us try out, guys. You guys were wonderful. Okay. Where did they go? <laughs> did they to leave the studio? I don't know. Where did they go? Opie. Go, go, we're going to okay. go to a commercial break, okay? We're going to a commercial break right then now. Then I'll be back on after the commercial. Thank you for listening. Thank you for listening very much. It was fun. <laughs> now what do we do? <laughs> what are we doing? I guess we got to keep on talking. Anybody else in the lines? Anybody line, else? line four? Anybody else wants to call and call us and give, give us your comments? <laughs> <laughs> How about if I read more? Hey, Emily, article? if you're still listening to the show, give Diane a call. She'd like to hear from you. All right, let me go to the next one over here. 
Hello? Yeah, I thought I'd uh, inject a little intel. Owned by Infinity Broadcasting. This is 1027 WNEW. Well, I think the retarded Laverne and Shirley show went very well today, Anthony. Well, Kurt said it seems the only requirements for uh, guest hosting the ONA show is not having anything to say and being able to take lots of hate calls. <laughs> seems to be it. They went over their time. They were doing so well. Oh, yeah. We got bonus retarded Laverne and Shirley show today. <laughs> bonus show. Is it really considered bonus? <laughs> Tom, what's going on? Yo, what's up, boys? Hey, man. Today on the uh, Laverne and Shirley show, I learned that uh, when you have cysts removed from your ovaries, part of the procedure is cutting out half your tongue. Oh, oh that'll leave a bruise. She sounds like that like lesbian puppet from the land of make-believe on Mr. Rogers. <laughs> you know, the one with the rosy cheeks? <laughs> That's an obscure reference, but yes, I, I, I know what you're talking about. God, damn. Is it Princess Winter, Spring, Summer, Fall? <laughs> <laughs> meow, meow, Henrietta wants to kill herself, meow, meow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, boys. Nice, Tom. Talk. Thank you. All right. Uh, Mike, what's going on? Yo, you guys got to do that again. That's one of the funniest bits I've heard in deep. Oh, yeah. You uh, have to. Now we're, we're, we're running out of uh, tards around here. F-tards. Yeah, F-tards to do F-tard shows. Uh, well, all I know is your fans make it the best, though. The hang on line, oh, my <laughs> God, they almost cracked up my car. <laughs> what got me was the, um, did you guys go to a shovel fight without a shovel? <laughs> You ain't going to win that one. <laughs> Shovel fight. Randall, what's going on? Randall. Oh, oh Nate. Hey. Anthony, I thought you were an intelligent guy. What are you doing letting them on the air? One. And two, they're not even qualified to teach you the ABCs. They're, they mm. did very good. Oh, yeah. Oh. I was if, you, if you put them on the air, you lost the listener. We were, def we were definitely entertained, I got to say. Hell, yeah. That's why they went over there 15 minutes. I was laughing too hard to keep track of the time. Uh, Nicole. Hi, guys. Hey. Hi. I'm a little upset. Why? Because as a faithful listener, I share my beautiful breasts on a regular basis to the rest of the Opie and Anthony world. Oh, you rock. But you put me through 15 minutes of torture on Friday. Uh-huh. And you did it again today. It was 29 minutes today. Uh, yeah. I, I, it felt like three days. <laughs> but, you know. All right. Well, we're back to regular program. Yeah, but if, I can't. A little I can't reciprocate as a listener if you keep doing this. We're trying to help management out and uh, find a couple new shows that we could put on, on uh, WNEW. Could, could it not be that again? Uh, have, I don't know. I, I, think, I think the retarded Laverne and Shirley were a hit, and they're going to have to come back in the future. Oh, well, God, yeah. I can't. I can't. i got to give back the wow stickers. <laughs> no, no, no. Don't do that, Nicole. <laughs> I might have to. Thank you. All right. got to cut you short because Stinky's checking in from his road trip to Mississippi with Black Earl. Yeah. Dan from Hoboken and Scott, the uh, driver, Anthony. And we have a problem. They've been driving for three and a half hours. Last we checked, they were somewhere in Pennsylvania. Let's say hi to driving for three and a half hours. Last we checked, they were somewhere in Pennsylvania. Let's say hi to driving for three and a half hours. Last we checked, they were somewhere in Pennsylvania. Let's say hi to driving for three and a half hours. Go. As far as, as far as we go. I'm just getting this um, memory. Watching them walk down the hallway. You remember when you were a kid and you really like had a crush on somebody and you might have been starting this relationship and then uh, you're hanging out with that person all day and then uh, she's got to go. Remember that feeling you got? Like you really were bummed and you missed the person from the second they left and stuff? I'm so far from that feeling right now. <laughs> <laughs> Holy Christ on a pony. There are two lovely ladies, Anthony. Where? Where? <laughs> All right, we got to check in with Stinky. All right, man. Stinky! Oh, no. Stinky! <laughs> Stinky? They just. They, all right, I'm getting. I'm getting. They're in Virginia. I heard. I'm a cop. You idiot. Damn. Yes. Right, we'll play a quick round of what do we learn, and hopefully, Stinky will get a better sell. Uh, yeah, bag. What's going on? Uh, yeah. I learned that I'm gonna do the allo. Uh, was shot 41 to zero, just like the Giants. Also, the challenger always blows up no matter how many times it will. 
You watch it. Uh, and at 420, the calzones always seem to disappear. Okay, terrific. Thank you, Yambeg. <laughs> Let's go to Box on line two. Smoke weed every day. <laughs> yeah, what's up, Box? Yeah, what's up, guys? I, love I learned that the name of the newest show on WNEW is Sports Retards. <laughs> they did Sports well. Sports Cards. Sports Cards. Take it easy, guys. Morning. All right. All right, let's uh, let's go to Neil. Neil, what's going on? How you doing, guys? All right. I learned that Lady Di must be pretty damn stupid if Marion is the brains of the operation. <laughs> it's like comparing an amoeba with a paramecium, my friend. Oh, boy. All right, thank you, Neil. we got to go back to Stinky, who's on the road to Mississippi. Stinky! Hey, guys, is it better? Uh, uh, a little better. A little better. All right. Yeah, well, we just crossed the Mason-Dixon line. Earl's been put in the back. We're in West Virginia. You're in West Virginia. They are moving. Stick? Yo. You're in West Virginia? I, I can't even hear you. Just forget it. <laughs> just, just forget it. Oh, man. Well, they're obviously going to have to uh, find places where they can stop and talk to us. But we're not on until tomorrow at 2 at which time they should be uh, very close, if not at their destination, so we don't have to worry about that. Yeah, I think there's going to be a lot of stories to tell when yeah. we hit the radio tomorrow live at 3. The overnight stories. The overnight stories should be which pretty good. We'll be on DAT and videotape, and we will watch. Uh, Steve, what's going on? Hey, guys, I learned that uh, LASIK surgery only lasts for one year. <laughs> <laughs> and I also learned that uh, Victoria's Secret has a big and tall shop. Ah, uh, very good. Thank you. Oh. Guys. Oh. All right. Victoria's Secret should have been that they allow people like her in. That's a secret they shouldn't get out. Hey, Rich, what's up? Hey, what's going on, guys? Hey. Hey, I learned that Lady Di does not have back boobs. Mm-hmm. The retarded Vernon Shirley forgot their shovel when they went to the fight. <laughs> and the cow zone is history when Stinky's Munchies set in. All right. You guys go. talk later. Thank you, Rich. I learned drugs just don't kill the right people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mike, what's going on? Hey guys, what's going on? Hey, I learned that today that after listening to those two effing retards, I had to inject eight cc's of heroin into my retina. <laughs> <laughs> heroin doesn't even help, man. I know. All right, thank you. Later. Hey, can we try to get Stinky on one last time? Uh, Matt, what's up? I learned that those two ladies should have fell into the beer vat at the Budweiser plant, and we'd all be fine. <laughs> Take care, guys. All right. I thought he was going to say that uh, Lady Di didn't know her birthday. She didn't know if she was 38 or 39. Ernie, oh. Yeah, what's up, well, guys? I believe she knows. Yeah. What's yeah, up, Ernie? Today? Like, that's going to make a difference. Like, that's going to make a difference. Oh, wow, she's 38. Yeah, <laughs> come here, then. Come on. Ernie, oh. Yeah. Hmm. Today I learned the vaudeville show on acid isn't as fun as it sounds. <laughs> <laughs> and my Sylvester impression is very, very good. Good job, my friend. Take care, guys. All right, man. Well, we're going to end with your brother's uh, song about Earl and Stinky going out of Mississippi. Yeah. I just want to try to get Stinky on one last time, so we're not going to hear from him. I don't think it'll work, to tell you the truth. For about 20 hours, I don't think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're fat. <laughs> we're ugly. We won't shut up and we're nauseating. <laughs> We're so annoying, no one can take it When we look in the mirror, we break it We'll give you nightmares all day long Like a couple of weebles Not an ounce of sex appeal <laughs>